Y'all see that there? You see that right there? Let's have a little chat about it, shall we? Alrighty. Oh, let me turn the truck off for a little bit. Yeah, so y'all can hear me well. Alright, first off, thank y'all so much for tuning in to another episode of TMT, Tony Magnum Trucking. And I think I'm going to title this... I just popped my cherry when it came when it comes to damaging my truck. Here comes a safety guy. I just helped him out with his load. Freaking, that's just the kind of guy I am. Hey, we on the same team. Might as well help each other out. But let me see why he's pulling up. Let me give him a little wave. Hey, take care. All right, he's out for the weekend too, so he's about to. I don't know where he's taking those. I don't know where he's taking them. Um, I'm going to. Uh, Minneapolis, I think. Minneapolis. I want to say that. Okay. Anywho. So, um, yeah. Pop my cherry on damaging my fucking truck. And I'm not happy about it. But it's a learning lesson. And just for y'all who know who know what company I run with, they already know because I have this thing called integrity. I already told them the situation. The decision's been made. So, you know, do your little haha, I want to get you in trouble bullshit with somebody else because I got integrity. Now, let's talk about the uh, that first part I showed you, the um, the dents on the headache rack and the side of the truck. That came from a jackknife maneuver. What had happened was, um, my GPS, I got a German 710. It's been useful up until that's the first hiccup I have with it because it helps me find spots for my load checks and places to camp out at. It, it gives me a little heads up in case I want to make a change. I can plot it out and stay within my DOT regulation, blah, blah, blah. But it took me off to this, uh, I forget what it was. It's supposed to be a rest area. So when I see the little route, the little flag pop up on the thing, and I'm like, wait a minute, that seems a little deep in there. It was just got a little off whatever it's in that little plaza area off the exits um it went deeper into the town part i'm like oh snap so on my left it was like this parking lot it was like it was a small parking lot like a business one like a like a like a small cul-de-sac and i'm over here like oh crap at the time it didn't seem that bad to squeeze in there which i got in there fine enough i'm like all right i'll just hit the dump valve and pop a U-turn right back out of there. I did not take into the account, you know those uh, yellow pole things that be sitting around at places? Yeah, apparently the one on the opposite side, my uh, my left side, they jutted deeper into there trying to make it like a straight walkway style, while the other side, it didn't have it. So I seen that one, I just dodged it, no big deal. The other ones, they jutted out. So when I tried to get back out the same way I came, so let me see. Coming in, taking a left, I'm going to snake in here. So I try to come back out that way. Um, yeah, it was going to hit those uh, damn things. My trailer was going to hit them. I was like, ah, crap, I cannot make this maneuver. So I had to bag up. A good Samaritan popped up. He said, hey, I drive school buses. Shout out to the B classes out there, B class uh, CDLs. Um, he said, "There's a, uh, I drive a school bus, and there's a pass right there you can uh, squeeze out of. Cool. So instead of going out the same way I came, I'm just going to go further down way down the other way keep going straight and pop a big u-turn i ended up doing that but not before hitting that jackknife so i'm basically just trying to realign my truck get it um angled up so i could take that uh left take that left out but uh turned it a little too tight bam didn't think i hit anything at the time but it was like bam because i heard it jump like that before so i'm thinking okay just stop there we go i'm realigned so by the time I got angled up, I was like, okay. I walked around the truck. I did. I walked around the truck. And I was like, okay, I'm making sure everything's good because you should have seen me dodge that other um, yellow thing. It was like, oh, nope, nope, too close. Back up. There we go. It was smooth. So I'm all proud of myself. Okay, here we go. We're out of here. I'm, I just take a quick peek. I didn't see it. Head out that way. Make that left. I even freaking dodged a freaking uh, pickup truck using my dump valve. I'm like, oh, that looks really tight. That's a tight left turn. Cling, cling. Turn it on. All right, here we go. Hit that nice and wide, nice and wide. Oh, watch it. Watch it drag. Watch it drag. Dodge that truck. Boom. So, bam. On my, on my way, we back to trucking, right? I hit a, a rest area. 
like alrighty I'm just gonna do my another walk around the truck that's why I see the damage ah shit at first I'm thinking okay it's just a cosmetic that me personally I think it's not a big deal as in it's a cosmetic factor 90% cosmetic 10% because the headache rack got a little jacked but it, basically all I gotta do is slam it a little bit harder and it still works so we still good on that one then I call my fleet manager she no no it was the night shift people it wasn't her they said basically call the the head people um first thing Monday morning this this all happened on Saturday cool then when I get to my delivery spot this is where that other part just did it I'm not taking the full blame on it although yes I'm the one behind the wheel so it, take it or leave it as it is anywho the story went like this so I see where I need to be I go ahead and set myself up to bag up here comes one of the dock worker ladies she comes up and says hey we're just going to go ahead and take you right in cool so they want me to bag up all the way back into this uh, door so I'm like oh shit your boy did that part good okay so I'm over here just watching watching the bag I have a little more wheel let's turn this way there we go push it push it so I get the damn trailer pointed into the door area the big old garage door where she wants me to be cool right here's where things get sticky well you know how typically when you see lines on the road and whatnot this is the area this is the out of bounds area you go past the line you out of bounds you need to get back in the line right or in a parking spot you stay in the lines well she wanted me on the line on the yellow line that's inside their garage area i'm over here thinking it's her house i want to do what she says okay so i'm doing my best but um, I don't have any room to actually move up forward. I got another truck ahead of me. I got a building off to my um, right side here. So here's the back end of a truck and a building. And I'm trying to wiggle onto this um, line that's on my left side. And I'm like, how do, why does she want me on that line so bad? So I'm wiggling. She's screaming at me. Oh, come over here. Come over here. I'm trying to stay calm because I'm in her house right i'm staying calm i'm doing my best then i hit bam i hit one of their uh side rock barriers didn't hit the building it was the barrier did its job and that's when i seen that i was like all right all right stop 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 everything stop i've got to see what the fuck she wants so i come back out i get out of the truck and i see how much room i actually have versus what she wants me to do my question to her at that point, are you sure I can't just bag straight up in here and then wiggle myself online that way because I got all this room? Well, I didn't want you to hit this other side. I looked at that side. I'm like, no, I'm angled up to just bag straight in. She gets frustrated with me and freaking leaves. Cool. Here comes another worker, a male worker. And he says, yeah, just bag it in right there. I'm like, just bag it in right here. You sure? No. So I'm bagging in everything nice and neat from where I was and guess who's on the line not me he didn't tell me anything about the line he wasn't stressing me about this line so when I get out I ask him is it cool that I'm right here not on the line he's like no you in the I'm in the fucking building I'm in the building and if I still have the picture I'm going to uh, put that as the thumbnail to show you how much how far away I was from that line and how directly I'm in there. The line really meant nothing. So then another guy came up. It's like, so there's nothing wrong with me being parked here. I don't got to move anywhere. It's like, no, we got enough room for everything. So I asked him, what was her malfunction about being on this line? He's like, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Ma'am, maybe it's time for you to freaking trade out those forklift operator jeans and put into us get a skirt bring a motherfuckers a coffee or something because that was a completely unnecessary thing she was trying to get me to do and i end up dead in my truck luckily again another cosmetic factor um so the truck is still running and operational there's no damage to people or property just um i think that my baby just gave her some dingers yeah but so we pop the cherry on actually damaging the truck and hopefully that will be the last time without any like weird third party scenario a gust of wind actually blows me on my uh, side or 
some bullshit like that. Still trying to be safe, still trying to be consistent, and just learning and getting the skills down. So, thank y'all for letting me uh, run my suck there. And I actually get in some questions about what am I going to return to gaming and also what am I eating on the road. These will be videos for another time. And because I, I, the, the idea is to just kind of tell my little experience. And this was the hot topic as of right now. I tried to get to y'all uh, sometime last week. But this week right here, what today is Friday the 13th. January, Friday the 13th. And this week has been hell. Let, let me go ahead and tell you how uh, how tight this week has been. Just straight up uh, next day deliveries. Straight up next day deliveries. But during that time frame, I had to get up mad early. And parking for some reason was a bitch and a half. I had to, uh, what I call, cowboy myself in several situations. Now, you know I don't like to go too cowboy on a situation. But... The situation dictates. Sometimes you just got to pull the cowboy. And by cowboy, I mean I didn't park in a spot spot, but I parked in one of the makeshift spots where some people uh, basically just line up things. I didn't set it up. I just followed where it was already set up, where it was already set up, the flow. Safely, out of uh, the main traffic way, and hey, I made it work. I made it work. And that's part of the... I guess that's part of the culture of trucking itself, one. And two, you, you got to adapt on, on the fly sometimes. So I guess my little tidbit of advice from a rookie, please, if you're a veteran trucker, let me know what you think about my story. How, maybe, am I am I that damn shitty? I don't know, I beat myself up worse. I've seen worse situations, but I'm putting myself on the top block. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, about how well I handled the situations and me not freaking yelling back at that bitch. But, you know, let me know about that. And, I don't know, just some growing pains and the cowboy situations. Hopefully, you know, just keep everything, just try to be safe about it as much as you can. What, it's like you're being one part safe and you also can't be a jackass and just hog up the spot. Can't be taking up so much area. Well, well, well. It looks like another one of my company's people is behind me. And since I've still got to wait on my clock to refill, I don't got much longer, let me go ahead and help him out. Because teamwork makes the dream work. And yeah, it is cold, so getting him out of here faster will be just useful. All right, that's my story for today. Thank you for listening to me run my suck. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell for more because I'm going to keep trying to bring it to you. Tony Magnum trucking. You want some? Come and get some. God, I'm weak right now. Goddamn.